The Aurora Australis is surrounded by giant tabular icebergs at 65 degrees south. In fact, we're passing a very large berg right now. We really are at the bottom of the world. The ship has just come up to the edge of the Antarctic continental shelf. It's reasonably shallow here, about 700 metres or so. These immense bergs are grounded. They are not going anywhere. The deputy voyage leader, Dr Fred Olivier, explains how the Aurora Australis is currently tracking. We started tracking east along this edge and we're going to start doing a completely different work which consists of dropping digital camera down to the sea floor to take photographs and record what sort of invertebrates and sea stars and other animals are living down there. And uh, so we are actually on our way to Station 4 at the moment and we're going to be skimming along to around this area which will um, then we'll decide actually where to go as a go north to do a number of stations following a canyon or go south to attempt to put the mooring on the seafloor. And at the moment we've been uh, tightly monitoring the positions of um, a particular iceberg on the continental shelf because it is exactly where we want to put our moorings so it's a bit in the way and we're hoping the weather conditions will change um, to allow um, dropping this mooring on the sea floor. Um, on this you can see this is a ship truck and uh, we about there in red and so we're going to make our way east and um, maybe hopefully turn south also to have a, an iceberg barbecue to have a little bit of a break which we would enjoy and in the meantime we're definitely going to wait to see what happens with this iceberg which is a small iceberg and um, continue our way to the Merck's, to the Merck's glaciers that you see in white um, and the big icebergs that's also in front of the um, where the Merck's glacier tongue was located. So the pace of the scientific work here on the ship was very busy before. It's about to get absolutely frenetic as we get closer to the Mertz Glacier.